What's going on guys, Sinister here, back with another video, and we're continuing our rebuilding series, episode 3, and it's finally the time for that dreadful Philadelphia 76ers team, but honestly, it's not going to be that bad, I feel like we're going to win it all in year 2, because they have a lot of young core pieces, a lot of draft picks, and a lot of cap space, so, I mean, you check out, I mean, look at that, nobody's worth, con nobody's under contract, like, for a lot, except for Landry, and I'm going to be trading him very soon. It's like, I mean, Embiid, Okafor, and Noel are the top three, and they're all, you know, core pieces I'm going to build around, so we're good. I mean, it's not going to take a long time at all. The only person I'm going to trade, and I already browsed around a little bit so I can actually show you guys a trade this time, Carl Landry for, no, I forget who it was for, oh, Stevenson, uh, because he is $9 million. he is expensive, but his contract's up after this, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and I think he has a player option. So, you know what? I kind of want to make sure that it is a player option. Or a um, team option. Before I go ahead and make this trade. I'm pretty sure it is. Because I always see him as a free agent. Yes, team option. So, I'll say player option. But, um... Yeah, on. That's why I can actually show you guys the trade rather than just go through it. So yeah, um, worst case scenario, I guess I can do that. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna keep Cannon anyway. So there you go. Free up that cap space. I don't think I was gonna get Tony Roten, but we already have McConnell, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, so really, that's the only trade we're gonna make. We are going to. Just our lineup, McConnell, give him some minutes. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put, yeah. uh, I don't know who's gonna develop more, Embiid or Noel. Um, I'm gonna put Noel in it, the power forward. I'm gonna give them a lot of minutes because you know what, I want them to develop. Should he be getting minutes? Stevenson, I really don't care about. And we'll give Embiid some minutes off the bench as our sixth man. And there we go. Actually, we'll give Ish Smith some minutes too. And there's our lineup. Actually, We'll go ahead and plug Stevenson into the starting lineup, just because. Just to see if he can do anything. So yeah, that is our starting lineup. TJ McConnell, Lance Stevenson, Robert Covington, Nerlens Noel, Okafor, and Embiid coming off the bench. Which is all that really matters. Uh, I was going to sign Tony Roten and get him back, because I like to get him off free agency, because he's a nice, solid backup point guard. But we have uh, Kendall Marshall, so it's really not a necessity. Necessity. So we're going to do our usual. We're going to sim through midseason, maybe all the way, uh, depending on if any trades come up. So I will. So a couple games into the season, and I was offered this trade from the Jazz. I give up Cummington and Marshall, and I get Jeff Witte and Rudy Gobert. Now, I already have three centers in Noel, Okafor, and Embiid. I'm going to keep Okafor, and I'll probably keep Noel or Embiid as a uh, backup. But Gobert is too good to pass up, and all I'm really giving up is Robert Covington. And although he's a good shooter, he doesn't really develop. I don't think his potential is above a 77, actually, so he doesn't really develop that much. And Gobert is going to develop a lot, so... And I also have a player option on him, or a team option. So I can snag him and have a starting lineup of Okafor at the power and Gobert at the five. So I'm going to take that, and then I can use one of my other centers as trade bait. So we're taking this deal. Actually, we're going to have to get and change the lineup, so. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll do that. We'll put Oak 4 at the 4 since he's shorter. Still give him 40. Now we have Noel and, in, ooh, 40 minutes, hold on. 
and we'll just kind of see who develops more. We'll give Stauska some minutes as well. Who develops more between those two? Whoops. And then I'll probably trade. I'm guessing... I don't think Noel has an extremely high potential. I think Embiid has a higher. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, but yeah. So that's the update. We're going to continue on through the rest of the season. Unless any more uh, trades come. Should we give Grant some more minutes? I feel like we should. You know what? It's not that it really matters. This is a, a tanking season in traditional Sixers fashion. So, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back, and tanking went very well. As you see, Dre with the MVP. Okafor did get Rookie of the Year, averaging 21-8. and eight. Wow, that's, that's impressive. It seems like this is a consistent thing. Durant gets MVP. We get Rookie of the Year, whoever we're playing as. Billy Donovan gets Coach of the Year. And Anthony Davis gets Defensive Player. And Ginobili gets Sixth Man. Most improved kind of varies, but uh, that's generally the thing. I don't think we want anything here. Except for Rookie of the Year. We probably got... Or Rookie of the Year. Um, all rookie. Yeah, we got McConnell and Okafor and probably Embiid and... Oh, just Embiid. Oh, yeah, Noel's not a rookie. What am I thinking? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so 29 and 53. Not dead last, though. Who is dead last? The Wizards and the Brooklyn Nets. So, okay, so we're not... Well, we can still get top pick. What do we have? 29... And we tied with LA. So, this uh, lottery draft is going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and simulate through this since we're not even close to being in the playoffs. I got Cleveland winning this one. Wow, Thunder beat Cleveland 4 1. Okay. OKC must have picked up somebody because, I don't know. Here are your retirees as well as the coaches. So, we're actually going to go to the lottery. Uh, I'm curious. I don't know how many. I know the Sixers have a couple top picks. All right, so we got a lot of big things happening in that lottery. We do get the second pick and the fourth pick, so I could get Scal, but I already have, like, four centers. <laughs> so, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, NBA draft time. First pick and fourth pick. That first, second, and fourth. If Ben Simmons, for some reason, doesn't go first, we're set. But I got a feeling he will. Maybe I can trade up to get Simmons. I'm going to try to make a trade real quick. Who is the first one? The Wizards, okay. No, they're not willing to trade. <laughs> okay. No, that was 2017. Do I have to wait until this, like, gets going? With the first no. The draft, the select... Oh! They got Scal! We got Ben Simmons! You've got to be kidding me! All right, that is amazing. I cannot believe that. They took Scal over Ben Simmons. But they do need a center. They already have Otto Porter and Bradley Beal running their 2-3. So it does make a little bit of sense. I'm going to check just because, but there's no way I'm passing up Ben Simmons. Yeah, you're not offering me anything at all. Get out of here with that garbage. And because I have like seven scouting trips, I know everyone's overall. So we gonna I'm going to try to get Ben Simmons, maybe plug him into the four and get Jalen Brown too. Or Brandon Ingram. One of them have to be there. So... We'll get Simmons first. Do we have any other picks? We do have a late rounder. They get Brown. And they got Jalen Brown. So, I'm going to check just in case, but I think I'm going to get, um, yeah, this my fourth, I can't think of his name. Nobody's offering me players. I don't care about picks. We could get Chris Dunn or we could get Brandon Ingram. I don't really need a point guard. I have McConnell. I'm going to put power forward with Ben Simmons. And I might get Brandon Ingram 
as my small forward. I'm liking the way that's... In. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But I mean, I could get Chris Dunn, but I have McConnell. I need a small forward. Worst case scenario, one of them will be trade bait. Alright, and we don't have another pick until we're very late. So they're most likely not going to be good. So we're going to go ahead, sim to the end. I'm going to stop it so you don't have to watch the simulation happen. And then... We're going to continue off as usual. So I'll see you again soon. Okay, so we are back. I accidentally forgot to record when I was going through uh, player options. But I accepted everyone except for Stevenson and a couple of the little guys like Samson and things like that. Uh, no qualifying offers. And we're going to check out our roster as it stands. We do not need centers. We have four. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to end up trading. I'm going to put Ben Simmons at the power forward and Okafor at my center. I want a good backup. So I'll probably keep Gobert, but Embiid and Noel I'll probably be trading. So, there's that. Uh, we have our small forward in Ingram, and a good point guard in McConnell. So we can use an upgrade in everything really, aside from bigs. Uh, but we do need a good starting small shooting guard. And possibly point guard. So yeah, these are our free agents. I know LeBron declined, a lot of people declined, but is he available? And he is available, and we have a lot of cap space, so we're gonna look at, we're just gonna offer him the max. We're gonna give him a no trade clause, or we're gonna give him a player option, and that's the most we can possibly offer him. So you're getting offered that, my friend. Point guards, we can get Rondo, so we are gonna offer Rondo. He's looking three years for like 42 so we'll give him three years we'll get we'll give him a player option to make him come here uh, that seems good I like that shooting guards okay we do need a shooting guard but there's none here that's really standing out small forward I got LeBron Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and offer Drummond a contract as well. I mean, we have hella centers, but you cannot pass up Andre Drummond. He wants a max deal. Uh, the Pistons are probably going to resign him because they have a restricted. But oh well. Alright, that's a max contract. Pow. Do we offer Pow one? What is what is he looking for? Three year. That's 10 million a year. No, that's not 10 That's 20 million a year. Never mind. That's too much for Pow. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hope that some of these guys don't go. We're going to skip through. So we did get Rondo. Good deal. Pistons got LeBron. Okay, LeBron to the Wizards. So we don't need a center. We're going to get our point guard and our backup with um, McConnell. We could use a shooting guard, though. But there's none here. It's really... I mean, Jeremy Lamb's not bad. What is he looking for? What is his first offer? Oh, he's restricted. We might as well go ahead and off. Oh, he doesn't want anything. So. Small forwards. I'm okay on small forwards. I don't really need one. But at the same time, you can't pass up a Luol Dang. And considering I have a lot of cash to spend, I'm going to go ahead and offer him a contract. little dang accepted and so did Jeremy Lamb okay so let's see what our roster is looking like right now I'm liking it we got Rondo Lamb Graham oh before whoop someone's got to plug in his controller there we go all right so we're gonna go ahead We have 12. I think one more is what we need. So we'll just let the computer do that. We'll we'll see what the computer thinks we should get. Let's we'll see our player progression just out of curiosity. So Rana didn't go up, of course. Gobert went up two, which is good. That's what I was hoping. Okafor up four. Embiid. So Embiid's looking like the guy we're gonna. Get. But look at Noel. Okay, so we have some trade options here. I can probably trade them both and get really good players out of them.
caught on a glove at all. Okay, so that's all right. I'm gonna go to training camps. That's it. We're gonna advance to the next season. We're gonna see if we can get any trades real quick out of Embiid and or Noel. Get some veteran players that are high rating but old and are gonna go downhill from here maybe. If it'll load. And it's looking like it's not gonna load. There we go. We don't want picks. Avery Bradley. That's not bad. I do need a shooting guard. Beverly Bogus done. Okay, so the Avery Bradley trade isn't looking like a bad deal. So we'll keep that one in mind. I'm gonna refresh that again, see if we get anything better. Oh, come on, man. Insert Jeopardy theme here. Okay. Lou Williams, alright. Well, I don't really want to give up um Lodang. Avery Bradley looks like a good deal. Noel. What can we get for Noel? If we can get some for both, because they're both cheap. We can get like a. I don't even know. A Rudy Gay or something along those lines. Plug him in at the small forward, that'd be good. Have Ingram coming off the bench or something like that. Or vice versa. Don't need picks. Avery Bradley again. Alright. There's a Rudy Gay. Okay, so. He's only an 80 though. That's interesting. I'm going to see for both, just in case. Rudy Gay did fall. I thought he was an 83, but he went down three points since last season. It's not good. It's not what I want. But I'm really thinking we can win it this season. So, it may not be that big of a deal. We don't want Derrick Rose's contract. And we don't need a center. Alright. So, we're going to take up the Avery Bradley deal. For Embiid. got it. Oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. Oh, now he's going to be bad. I don't want that. And it's not there anymore. Of course it isn't. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm going to find a way to get Avery Bradley and Old Rudy Gay. And okay, guys. So we're back. And this is the trade I'm about to complete. Joel Embiid and Dang for Rudy Gay and a pick, which I don't really care about, but whatever. Uh, and the other trade I made was Noel and McConnell for Avery Bradley and Kelly Olenek. So those are two trades we're going to make. Get rid of those two extra big men. And we can now adjust our lineup. So we do want Rondo starting and running the point. We're going to put Ben Simmons in a power forward. Give him some minutes. And then bring in Rudy Gay in a small forward and Avery Bradley in at the two. We got a lineup of Rondo, Bradley, Gay, Simmons, and Okafor. Gobert coming off the bench. We have Brandon Ingram gaining some minutes. We have Jeremy Lamb as well. Uh, who else wants minutes? I guess we could give a Linux some. We got a lineup or a backup. Gobert, Ingram, Graham. We don't really have a true point guard, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I think Linux will develop more than Grant anyway. So okay, so that's looking like a lineup. I think we can win it this year. In all honesty, if not, definitely next year. So as per usual, we're gonna simulate this whole season unless a trade happens, and we will be right back, and we'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, we are back. We finished off, I think, 53 and 29, which is pretty good. Lillard winning MVP, 30 points and 11 assists, and four and a half rebounds. That's crazy. Simmons getting rookie of the year, of course. Mo Williams, six man, AD defensive. There's a shock. Axum with most improved. Okay, so take a look at all the 
rewards. I don't think we won any. No. Ooh, we did. Oh, rookie first team, yeah. Nuggets got Jamal Murray. Hmm. And Ingram, the all defense or all uh, rookie second team. So that was enough for second. So we are going to hope that this is enough to win it all. Yeah, I was gonna say we better we better beat Detroit. Okay, so we're moving on. The Knicks, the Knicks are third. I'm curious of who they have now. Roster, roster. Anthony Porzingis. So they didn't really get anybody aside from Chandler. I guess Larry Sanders. So I don't know why they're doing so good. Huh. Oh well. Well, I think we're gonna beat them. I definitely think we're gonna beat them. All right. So. Yeah, they're only 45 and 37. The Eastern Conference, it shouldn't be too bad to get past. What's going to be terrible is playing in the championship. All right, so we swept the Knicks. We didn't just get past them. Washington. Washington did get LeBron, though, so... Yeah. Actually, I kind of want to see their full roster now, because I know they got LeBron and Wall, so that's going to be hard to get by. LeBron James, John Wall, Bradley Beal. Oh, my. And they also got Scal... Oh my goodness. Alright, so this is definitely going to be tough to get past, but we can do it. Never say never. See if I can get any trade offers for gay real quick, and then uh, if not, I don't care. It don't matter, because I'm confident in this team. Okafor is basically a superstar at this point, and we got a lot of great players aside from that, so... Anybody that's... Oh, Mike Conley. That's an offer I may have to take. We could get we could get two good role players. Or we could get a good... Wow, okay, so these are interesting. There's really only Dragon Bender, but I want to win this season, so... Alright, so, we got a decision. Do we want... Sullinger... And Crowder. Or do we want Conley? We want Conley. We're gonna go all in and bank on it. Rudy Gay, you're going back to the Grizzlies. Yeah, so we got Mike Conley starting at the point and Rondo coming off the bench, so that's good. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal. Avery Bradley, uh, Ben Simmons, no, Ben Simmons, oh, that makes more sense, because Giannis is more of a power forward, so that works out, and, it, you know, better for me, Ben Simmons, Giannis, Okafor, we don't have any shooting, you know, we got Bradley and Conley, we're good, so that was my concern, we don't have any shooting power, but Conley just gave us some more, we got Rondo coming off the bench, along with Jeremy Lamb, okay, so we got a solid bench, that was my concern, that our bench wasn't going to be deep enough, once I got rid of some of those players, our bench is actually pretty damn deep so i'm confident we're definitely winning it this year we're gonna submit the season guys as usual and we will be back soon i'm hoping to get 60 wins with this team not gonna lie okay guys we're back we did not get 60 wins we were very close though we started off like one and seven the first eight games it was terrible i was actually really scared that's because our chemistry wasn't up you know they they just started playing with each other <laughs> yeah i have a dirty mind <laughs> but um Oh, yeah, he was a uh, rookie of the year last year. Anthony Davis, dude, he never, I don't think he's not, I don't think he, you know what I mean. He always wins defensive player. <laughs> Okafor, most improved? Wow, all right. I'll take it. And coach of the year. So we have 57 and 25. Three wins off of 60, but that's because of that rocky start at first. We went on like a win game, a game, uh, wow, I cannot talk. A winning streak of like eight and we beat the Wizards like 105 to 90 something so that just means we're bound to beat them so I'm very confident and we got the first seed Wizards fell to the third so I think I think it's uh, like it's gonna happen this time guys so what do we got we got Orlando first yeah 
We got this. I'm just gonna go and simulate this round because I'm confident. Whoa. That was a little close. Cle Cle yeah, Cleveland, they lost LeBron. How did they go 47 35 without LeBron? Oh well, I think we're gonna beat them. Game one, game two, lost game three, game four. Whoa. Oh well, that worked out. <laughs> Alright, so Boston. Ooh, Boston's gonna be tough. That's okay. We're still gonna beat them. I'm curious on who they have now because there's no way, unless they got a good free agent. No, wow. Oh, wow. Isaiah's having a shot up. They got Lopez and Randolph Crowder. They got a, they're like us. They have a lot of good players, but nobody that's really like, bam, I'm amazing. McConnell's up to a 78. Why weren't you doing that good with me? All right. We're going to take this a game at a time because I'm kind of nervous. No. What was I being nervous for? We swept them. Oh, my goodness. We're playing the four seeds. You know what? We got this. We got... No, I ain't even worried. Okay. Nah. Yeah, see? See, look at that. There you go, guys. The Philadelphia 76ers are your NBA champions. That take us like three seasons. Technically two with that whole rebuilding the first season tanking it. So we're going to look at our uh, championship team. Okafor, Conley, Simmons... Giannis, Rondo, Bradley. You notice a trend here. I don't keep really anybody except for one player. Okafor is our only remaining player from like the original team, aside from Grant. That's it. There's a trend. Rebuilding, you gotta make some changes. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more of this rebuilding series. Give it a like if you want to, and until next time, thank you guys for the support. And I'll speak with you soon.